who do one want to be with? Iruhi, Erika, or Mireha? So today I will do with Iruhi first, and in the next video I'll do Erika and on to Mireha. Let's do this. I slide open the door to the library, holding my breath. When I step inside, Iruhi is sprawled out on the couch reading a book. Her body is illuminated by the glowing fire. I swallow hard, trying to contain my overwhelming emotions. Couldn't sleep? Did you want to read books? <laughs> I mean, read about amphibians? No, actually, did you say you love me before? Just like last episode? Right now, I'm going to tell you my true feeling, alright? Not exactly. My voice cracks with nerves. But I've definitely got a frog in my throat. She turns to my face, the book limply dangling in her hand. What's wrong? I couldn't sleep, Iruhi, <laughs> because I couldn't stop thinking about you. She pushes her hair behind her ears, trying to distract from her blushing. Ah, I see, Mira is blushing. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm for the world and learning about it. I love how you are so unshamely yourself. I love how you make me laugh without even trying. Iruhi quickly wipes away a tear that's forming in the corner of her eyes. I sit on the couch beside her and put my thumb to her cheek to wipe one off. Iruhi, I love you. Well, actually this one is pretty, <laughs> oh, so nice. So glowy and nice. <laughs> I have loved you since the moment I met you. Nah, I don't think so. For a second, I thought that when I first played this game, I thought Miriha was pretty cool out of the tree. But, but as time progressed, uh, Iruhi is pretty cool as well. Then on to Rika. Rika is also very nice. Okay. Even when I was talking about experimenting on you, Hey, no, hey, I, I forgot about this scene, like, <laughs> is it? I forgot about that. Especially then, I love you too, Orange. The world around us fades away. I lean forward, pressing Iruhi into the couch beneath us. She pulls me hard against her body, forcing my hip against hers. She squirms under me, kissing me harder and faster. The weeks of pent up emotion, of longing, they all come to a head. I can feel our hearts thudding rapidly against one another, intertwined. And then we part, trying to catch our breath. Oh, we probably shouldn't do this in a library, should we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think so. I eye the book beside her. Afraid the amphibians are going, <laughs> Afraid the amphibians are going to be <laughs> offended. She giggles and rolls off me. What do you want to do now? What do I want to do now? Isn't it obvious? Read in bed with her? Uh, look at the star with her, definitely. Iruhi and I settle on the balcony overlooking the beautiful landscape. Overhead, the inky black sky is awash with sparkling stars. Iruhi can hardly contain her excitement. That's Big Dipper. Oh, oh, and that's the Little Dipper. And that's the North Star. I stare at her with a dumb smile on my face, completely enamored. You know, if everyone got as excited about stuff as you, the world would be so much better off. Iruhi leans her head on my shoulder, her gaze turned to me now. You know, no one has ever looked at me the way you are. Iruhi fights tears welling in her eyes. She cuddles against me as we gaze up at the stars. I've never felt so at peace, never felt so loved in my entire life. With her in my arms, I know everything is going to be okay. It's been three years since I confess. Life is even more beautiful than I ever could imagine. I race down the university hallway as Iri tucks me along. I couldn't wait for you to see it. She stops in front of her display. It's a deep dive into human emotions, and in the bottom corner, in big letters, it's her name. Iruhi beams beside me, her hands claps in delight, my first study for the whole world to see. I'm so proud of you, Iruhi. Alright, I wrap my arms around her, drawing her against my chest. Her eyes flicks up to mine. She leans up, kissing me gently, okay? It's something that has happened a thousand times. 
and yet it makes me melt all the same. The love in her eyes is the greatest gift anyone has ever given to me. I couldn't have done it without you. I couldn't have done any of this without you. We have all done this together, alright? And there is no one I would rather do it with, okay? Iri strokes my cheek as she looks me into the eye. I love you more than anything, Orange. And I love you too, Iri. Break it up, you two. Oh, it's Ririka. Ah, sorry man, I, I didn't chose you. <laughs> Isn't sucking face illegal on university ground? Oh, we are in a university, I see. Iri and I both laugh and part as Rika and Mirha comes racing down the hall. They both throw their arms around us, buzzing with excitement. Yip, I can't believe your study has been published. Um, and you didn't even have to dissect Orange. What? The girls giggles with one another. Some things never change, I suppose. We should go out for dinner to celebrate. You know, I know a great cafe downtown. Is it a new one, perhaps? Maybe name Burning Love too? <laughs> you really should have let me name the second cafe. It really laughs and squeezes my hand. Orange, I will meet you there to celebrate. The girls wave us off as they race down the hall. Iri kiss my cheek and look at the display one more time. Then we set off together, hand in hand. Ah, what a great story. So sad, it has come to an end. <laughs>